Hi and welcome to a new video. Have an important meeting on Discord that you want to record along with the audio so you can review it for future reference? While Discord doesn't technically have a built-in feature to record your video call, you can always try a workaround. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to screen record your video call on Discord with audio. Let's go. For those who need more features while recording screens, I recommend Movavi Video Suite, an all-in-one software that combines several features including video editing, conversion, compression, recording, and more. This is available for both Windows and Mac. To download Video Suite for free, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below for your reference. If you want to change the website language, click the Globe button in the upper right corner and choose one. Although Movavi Video Suite is generally a paid software, there is a 7-day free trial version so you can get a feel of how it works before paying for anything. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software on your computer. Once installed, launch the Record Computer Screen sub-program to start recording. The Movavi Screen Recorder's control panel appears as a pop-up sidebar menu on the right side of your window screen. It is also added to your system tray for easy access. For first-time setup, click the Settings icon in the control panel to modify the recording configurations to your liking. Under the General tab, click each checkbox to enable the configuration described by its label, such as disabling the default countdown or hiding the recording panel. Set your preferred destination folder when saving your recording in the Files menu. Go to the Video tab if you want to adjust your output's frame rate. To show cursor and keystroke activity in your recording, you can enable it in the FX tab. You can also limit your recording duration and set a specific time range in the Scheduler configuration. Finally, click the OK button to save your changes. To start, open the window you want to capture and click the Video Camera button in the control panel. Then drag the cursor to the specific frame you want to capture or click the space bar to record your entire screen. Once your screen is set up, use the corresponding toolbars in the lower right corner to activate the feature you need. In the horizontal toolbar, enable microphone and system audio to capture both your computer's audio input and output. You can also click the Settings icon and activate Noise Reduction for cleaner audio output. While in the vertical toolbar, you can enable the Keystroke feature if you want to include all keyboard activity or capture specific shortcut keys that you press during recording. Aside from that, you can also capture cursor movements with additional effects. Once everything is ready, click the Record button to start recording your screencast. Please note that if you're on a free trial, you can only record your screen for 7 minutes. Another useful feature is the Pencil tool, which allows you to doodle on the screen and highlight specific areas for your viewers. When you're done recording, just click the Stop button on the toolbar. If the toolbar is hidden, go to the System Tray, Right-click the Movavi icon and choose Stop Recording. A separate window will appear to preview your recording so you can create necessary edits, such as cutting timestamps, capturing a specific frame, or editing it separately using the Movavi Video Editor for more functions. If you want to save it directly instead, click the Export button. Here, you can rename the file, specify the destination folder, and change the video format to your liking. Finally, click the Save button to start the export. When the file is finished exporting, click the Show in Folder button on the pop-up alert to view the video in the location where you saved it. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!